Welcome back, everybody. So here we are with with our French Empire, and we are going to continue to build up forces to take on the uh, Malanese Empire. Uh, we've got a small army here on the continent, and we are building up another force here. Uh, on our mainland and we're going to send them away and do a two front battle and right now we are just building up our forces so let's do that for a little bit before we invade we are researching um, rifling and let's go ahead and increase our oh yeah we wanted a little bit of gold and we were trying to build up macemen um, we're going to get some macemen for a few more turns because we wanted to upgrade them to the city unit before we go in and attack, before we upgrade them to riflemen. So let's just continue to do that. We're, so we got our research set at 0%. We're doing 10% uh, spying to get a little vision. We might bump that up a little bit for one or two turns to get better vision, but we'll see how it looks once we get everything Upgraded to rifling. All right, so we could do a customs house, but I think we don't need that. Let's just continue. We can't do a maceman here, so I'm just going to go ahead and build cannons. If we can't do it in less than three turns, we're going to build cannons or galleons or something else. Let's see. So we could do a maceman two turns here. Let's do that. Ah, one plus population. Is that going to make us angry or anything or starving? No. No, we got one plus population in uh, Harris, and it seems to be doing good. It's got tons of happiness. They demand emancipation, but they are still pretty happy. So, uh, two more turns to rifling. Let's just keep getting our macemen. We'll save up some money and upgrade as much as we can to riflemen. These some of these guys only get the one. Well, most of them only get the one promotion. I think Paris and Gordium have a military instructor. I think Paris does too. Nope, I didn't put one in Paris. Did I put one over in Reims? No, I didn't. So just Gordium has the military instructor, which is fine. Um, all right, we got some galleons over here. I don't know if we're going to need more galleons. Uh, if we want to... Make a little bit bigger invasion this time because I think um, the Malanese are going to be a little more powerful. Let's take a look. They do have musket men. Only four troops in that city, but it's not their capital. It'd be nice to see what they got. I may build a couple more galleons um, for this invasion. Uh, let's see. We got a cannon, cannon in Orleans. Let's do Maceman one more turn, yes. And Lions just got a Maceman. We'll do Cannon. And we got a Maceman here. Let's go ahead and do another Galleon. Because I think we're going to have a pretty big, we want to bring a pretty big invasion force. We're going to have one front is going to be much smaller. The existing troops, there's not a lot there, so... Uh, that's going to be smaller. Two turns. I don't know if that's going to automatically turn into a rifleman, but that'll be fine, too. Uh, getting a lot of gold. They want a bank. Oh, we do get a lot of money there, but we don't need it. Let's just push out these military units. Uh, do we have the dry docks? I think we can go ahead and do granary and then dry docks. Again, I don't know if I want to be building too much non-military buildings. Uh, oh, that was over here. Oh, wow. No, we're not going to do that here. We're going to do... We'll go ahead and do the granary, but we'll do that later. So I'm going to cancel. So we'll do barracks. Uh, we'll do granary first, actually. Then barracks. And then... This is going to be a pretty good production city. Wow. This is uh, this was the uh, Holy Roman Empire's capital. All right. Keep going. Keep, keep producing. 
just get more and more guys. And uh, then we'll up start upgrading to riflemen. And this will be a, a pretty successful invasion. Yeah, I don't think we need too many more ships. I think we're doing pretty good on ships. Just a couple more, I'm thinking. All right, this guy was going to do the culture bomb, which will get him overtaken. And he wants a world map. Sure, sure, we'll trade world maps. Um, Maybe he'll do this. Would you do that? Nice. So now we can build... Uh, can we do cavalry? No, we can't do cavalry yet, but we can do ship of the line. We'll do one of those at least. Okay, cannons. Um, do I want to do dry dock? And then a ship of the line. Not here. Let's just do more cannons. And you do ships of the line. Yes. And over here, theater. Let's just do library more culture i must study politics and, and war look my at sons him. may have uh, liberty to study math oh we can do grenadiers um, in case they get to rifling how far are they away from rifling so they need this replaceable parts before they can research rifling they do have gunpowder so they're a bit away from that okay so we don't need to worry about their riflemen it'll be mostly muskets that we got to worry about for them um Still don't have vision. I'm going to do a culture bomb here. We'll see if that helps this city. We're going to probably get a lot of revolts in there um, before that happens. But they shouldn't take it over. Do I want to work that fish? Do I need fish? Um, I do have two already. I don't really care about that. All right. Let's see. More macemen. More macemen. More macemen. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. We'll do, probably won't build any more masonry because we're about to get rifling. Political power grows out of the barrel. And of the steam power to get coal and levees. That's going to be really awesome for our production. Not that we necessarily need it. Let's get a grenadier. Let's get another cannon. I don't know how well we're doing on cannons here. Not very many. So we need more cannons for this invasion. Okay, we got a lot of these masonmen. How much does it cost to upgrade? 140 gold. Okay, so that shouldn't take us too long. Let's uh, do some spying real quick. And uh, you, Automate. I don't know why I selected him. So we're going to take a look at him. Shouldn't take too many turns. Yep, there we go. We got full visibility with that. And we'll do cannons. Tarsus. Um, Ek Ekbatana. We'll do cannons. Just get a ton of cannons. Right, we have good macemen, so we'll upgrade them all the right ones soon. Okay, I'm going to do just 10%. We'll do 10% culture, 10%. We'll do 10, 10, and 10. Um, and uh, I probably won't need to worry about it. I don't really care so much about steam power. it will be nice to have, but we're not going to focus on it. Okay, we got a guy over here. We'll just have him uh, scout. And just continue to, just to build more guys. I don't think we're going to wait too long. At this rate, at this rate of gold, we're only going to be upgrading one guy per turn. Oh. Yeah, let's go here. Okay, so actually, we don't have too many guys left to upgrade. So we got a grenadier. Let's go cannon. You got a frigate. We'll just do... Do we have the dry docks? Yeah, let's do another ship of the line here. Um, I think uh, we'll go with another ship of the line, and that should be good for our ships. Do I want to go with barracks, or 
I just want to do troops now. Let's just do... We got a lot of cannons up here. Um, so I don't really need... So we got five movement points. That's what everybody's got. Thinking about upgrading the movement speed, but no. We'll focus on just doing combat strength. Maybe our galleons will make the gall new galleons faster. All right, we're going to get that culture bomb. I don't know if uh, he'll have time to reinforce. Maybe if we need it, we'll just set him here, and then we can reinforce. Okay, so you're going to go over here, and next turn we'll culture bomb, hopefully, the people of this city, the city of Jin. Will not be starving much longer because I'll get some tiles for them to work on. We'll see. It's so surrounded that it 4,000 culture. Actually, 4,000 culture is a lot at this stage of the game. Let's see. 4,000 culture. How much do I have in Paris? So Paris has 12,000. What about just an average city? So an average city would be something like Orleans. No, it's got my forbidden palace. Here, Ectabana. This has uh, only 867. So I think doing that next turn is going to give us some of these uh, tiles. Although they're not, this one's not being, not nothing on this one. But maybe we'll get this farm here. Okay. Paris has cannons. Let's do a grenadier. Let's go for more cannons. Um, cannon. All right, Nuremberg. You do a barracks and then start producing troops. Okay, let's see what this does. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I guess it's next to his capital, Timbuktu. It's probably got like 12,000, similar to Paris. Uh, we just got this. <laughs> Which way are you? Didn't, we didn't have that already. Okay, so... Oh, no. It's going to go down to three population. Let's see. How much to the next... Next level? 5,000. It's getting 37 a turn. It's going to... It needs another 1,000. 23 turns. It's not looking good for you. Oh, well. It's, it doesn't really matter. I was just trying to help him out, but it seems to be hopeless. All right, we got more guys to upgrade. And then um, we'll upgrade the guys over on the other side in the other continent. All right, do I want to get some knights? No, my musketeers can move two tiles. I got a lot of them. Uh, let's just do more cannons, more cannons, more cannons. I love cannons. Uh, I love siege weapons in general because they really can um, the collateral damage just so much it gets uh, big stacks. So uh, they're pretty good. Okay, we'll do a barracks and then start producing troops over here. Oh yeah, what do we got here? One well, musketeer. Any macemen? To upgrade. Do I want to upgrade my pike man? Grenadiers, maybe? Sure. And then over here, I have a, oh, I have swordsman. Can't upgrade him yet. Let's just get some more money. So we do have about three or four guys uh, catapult there. So, yeah, you go here. And still looking kind of small. On this invasion, we need more cannons. We got our ship in line, which is kind of slow, so I'm going to give it a movement bonus so that it can stay, keep up with our fleet. And uh, let's just get rid of this and this and get our upgrades pretty soon. Okay, we'll go riflemen, more cannons. We do need a few more riflemen, I think. Okay. Barracks over here. We're getting the cities over here on this continent. And so we'll do some more riflemen over here. 
getting more cannons. Good. We got as looks like as we got about as many cannons as we do yeah. riflemen. So Mansa just completed the Statue of Liberty. That is a really good wonder. Um, does he have? Okay, he's going for replaceable parts. He is going for it. So he might be able to get to rifling by the time it time. Um, I can get my guys over there. Um, but I'm not ready to invade. So this guy's going to be a pretty cool look, cool uh, rifleman with uh, three levels of city raider. And, well, not enough money for that. So keep going. And we'll do some more grenadiers. Get a powerful cannon. Uh, over here, we're going to want riflemen. And I'm guessing it's going to be about four turns uh, before we invade. So we'll do an invasion force up here, a smaller one, and then a bigger one from here. Oh, it's down to two. What happened? I thought we were going to get at least three. We have three food. They're still starving. How much food do they need? Uh, they need four food. Why do they need four food for two population? I don't get how food works, I guess. Three minus four. I wish it would tell me what the minus four is. Because there's only... Is it because of all the people in there? All my soldiers? I, I have no idea. Let's see. This one has... 40, 41 food, minus 38. It doesn't have a 38 population. I don't know how. Maybe it's times two. The population times two to maintain it, I guess. I don't know. I, I should look that up later. Offline. All right. Thinking we got enough cannons over here. All right. Uh, this we need cannon here, and then upgrade you. Should I do grenadier? No, do riflemen. Cool. That'll be a really small invasion just to keep them preoccupied. I don't think I need it, but they can be. It can be for reinforcements. What are we doing here? Why are you together? Okay, upgrade this guy to Rifleman. Uh, let's go with another cannon. Can't forget cannons, but let's do some Rifleman. Let's mix it up. Grenadiers, cannons, Rifleman. Oh, you know what? I should get courthouses up here. Um, let's do courthouse here. And we don't need it there. How about here? Because these these are going to have high maintenance costs because they're overseas. 41, yikes. Uh, probably even want to do it before we get the, the theater going. And what about here? Don't need it. Here. Don't need it. Here. Need it. But it's going to take forever with our one population. Wow, those are expensive cities. Although we're making good money. But they're expensive to maintain. Okay. <clears throat> we will go for that. But I want my tin here. I think we've got everybody upgraded that I want to. Nope, you. But we got 500 gold. So I wonder what he's going to go for next. Rifling in four turns. I won't be able to declare war in four turns, but I got plenty of cannons. The Grenadier have a benefit against riflemen, so we'll do that. Uh, do I want to do a bank? No. Just Grenadiers. We got plenty of riflemen. Since they have riflemen, 
it might be beneficial to do more grenadiers because they have the benefit. Yes, replant the forest, even though I could just chop it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe next turn I load up my boats. Um, wow, I got it. Okay, I do have a lot more guys to upgrade over there. I forgot about those guys. Yeah, so we're going to wait a few more turns to upgrade those guys in that city. Um, not here, but over here in this little isolated place that's just uh, the one population. Uh, poor little Jin. Can't grow. Can't do anything about the culture. Costing us a 21 in maintenance. I want to upgrade these guys. Uh, yep. And then those swordsmen are going to be really expensive to upgrade. But I want to do it. I want a few more grenadiers over here. But we'll get there soon enough. Grenadier, grenadier. Because he's going to have a lot of riflemen. By the time I get over there. All right. Just keep on generating more and more guys. Boats over there. And I got. We'll do one another turn, then I'll upgrade. He wants to give me scientific method for military science. I don't want to give him anything, so we're going to say no to that. Uh, still need more cannons, because I might... My cannons might end up dying if he gets the protection bonus, which I don't know if his AI is trained to do that. Okay, we'll do grenadiers over here. Uh, let's see. Anti-monarchs are claiming that the king has too much power and that the religious leaders need to have some too. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> three happiness for our palace, but we've got plenty of happiness. So, But I don't think we have many of these buildings built, so I don't think he's going to give us much gold, but we're going to do this for the gold. Um, let's see, we're at 529 a turn. I'm going to abstain from that. It didn't give us anything. I don't think we have any of those buildings. But we didn't really need the happiness either. If you look at Paris, it's like plenty of happiness. Although that emancipation thing is going to be continuing to grow as more cities adopt it. More civs. Well, they might all have it. They might all have emancipation by now. I don't know if Darius does. He's way behind in tech. He's probably got it. They're probably all, all those guys over there do. But that's okay. Um, a little bit of unhappiness. We can up our culture later to take care of any unhappiness problems. Let's see. Yeah, Aiken's our least happy city because it's over here. Probably we yearn to join our motherland. You are in your motherland. It's just not controlled by Charlemagne anymore. And Charlemagne's only got one little tiny, tiny island. And um, upgrades. Yes, let's go for it. You, Mason, upgrade. You, Spearman, upgrade. Not enough money. We gotta do those trebuchets. And we could do that academy for that extra gold, but. No, not going to do it. Let's go cannon. Cannon. You know, I may want to do some knights. I may want to do knights. I don't know how well they'll do against... No, I'll just stick with what we're doing. And grenadiers here. All right. We want some people staying for defensive in these cities. So, 
All right. This guy first. And then this. And what about this over here? Okay, we've got that riflemen, musketeers. I'm going to leave my musketeers. I could upgrade them, but I'm not going to. Just going to leave them. All the workers are sitting in there. I don't care. It's too far away from the front lines to worry about those guys. All right. We got a lot of cannons. We got a lot of cannons in that city. But not all the guys, but that's fine. We'll hit them with stacks and stacks of cannons. Okay. I'm going to start loading up my guys, I think. Loading them up onto ships. We got all our ships over here, all our galleons. Okay, let's do it. So we want, let's just do one grenadier, one rifleman. Mix them up a bit. A rifleman, a grenadier, and a cannon. Oh, this is going to take too long. Um, but I have to do it this way. I want, I don't want them all, I don't want like three cannons in one ship, you know? That would be silly. Yes, yes, very tedious. Fast forward this part if you want to. You know, I am going to end up with uh, ships with multiple cannons because I don't have enough riflemen. To fill up all the boats. So we're going to do two and a musketeer. We're going to end up with one boat with like and looks like we'll send the last cannon here. The rest will be reinforcements. And uh, let's see. We'll do speed. You? Stay here for the reinforcements. The rest of you guys head on out. Three turns. You'll be the first wave of reinforcements. We'll get all of our ships over here. And get them ready for the battle. And you over here too. And he's about to get rifling. I wonder if he's already got rifling. Nope. Okay, Mansa Musa just got rifling. That's concerning. Actually, it's going to make the battle more interesting, I think. And we'll do cannons. We'll do, I think. We definitely need more troops on the mainland on this side of the combat. So, do grenadiers. No, 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 no. I don't want to send you. Okay. I should do research. 10 and 10, I think. Yeah, just to keep my spying up. Actually, I don't need it on spying. Let's just keep it like that. All right. Uh, we got a boat over here. We'll send him up. Three more turns. Three more turns. And then we'll, well, maybe four more turns. So load these guys up. And we'll have a, a reinforcement. All right. We've three guys here. We're going to want to leave three guys in this town. Send them up there. Uh, three turns to get another one. Three turns to get another. Five turns to get him. And they're not building anything. So we're one, two, three away from the capital. Or one, two, threes. Wait, there's a river there, so go here. Yeah, three away from their capital, so I'll just, after that. Um, but I'll have guys on the coast. 
already when they go in. Ah, uh, riflemen. Two more riflemen. Rifles, please. And rifles, please. Uh, no, 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 we're not doing that. Um, he's already on his way. All right. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Um, I think uh, we've got to send this guy out. He will be late for the initial invasion, but he'll be part of the second wave, which will be just him. Just one ship is part of the second wave. But there'll be more waves. All right. We got frigates here. Um, we'll send the frigate out to scout. And uh, we'll... Let's see. How do we want to do this attack? Um... Uh, We'll send a group of guys down here. And we won't worry about Timbuktu. We'll send one attack force here. One attack force here. We won't worry about this. So we'll do we'll split it up into two attacks. So we'll go you, you, you. And on down here. Anybody else? So not getting we have enough troops okay we'll do uh, you just can't move because you got that slow ship in the line I want to select these guys so let's make sure we send them one more tough guy so we've got four ships uh, one, two, you all right so it's kind of even. This one has one more. That's fine. We'll go next turn. We will hit them. Cool. Everything's good here. We've got enough troops in here. Here we got two. Let's promote them. Got one guy here, that's fine. Let's send him over here. In case they send a knight into my territory, I can hit him with my... I don't know if they have knights. I don't see any knights. Yeah, they're not going to be too tough. Um, they haven't really built riflemen in bulk yet. I'm sure they will as soon as we declare war. Uh, you need to get out of the war. You'll probably be get killed, that's fine. All right, this will be the turn to start our next war. And I don't know if Sitting Bull is uh, got a peace treaty with. Uh, I can look at that. I think up here, Sitting Bull is a vassal of Mas Mansa Musa, so he will declare war on us too. Wait, what? Or Mansa Musa must be a vassal of Sitting Bull. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to war with Sitting Bull, too. But he doesn't have rifles, so... Which is kind of weird to do it that way. Maybe I should have done Sitting Bull, but I wanted to... We'll go to war with the Vassal first. Okay, we are going to war this turn. So... <clears throat> you know what? I want to do something kind of silly. I'm going to send in a bunch of workers into their territory <laughs> and uh, they're just going to be distractions they're just going to be like yeah we got we don't need workers over here All right? so send in a distraction they'll send their guys out of their cities to take them and I can hit them when they're out of their cities or just take their cities and ignore them might be dumb, but I don't really need these guys. All right. So, Sitting Bull. Uh, we've got one more worker I want to send. We'll just, we need, we'll keep one for when, if we ever get railroad or something. Um, but anyways, 
We'll declare war. Alright. It's a world war. Because everybody, every Civ is involved. So, we want to save. Wanna save some defenders here. Probably four guys. Not all. We'll do some. Uh, let's see if we can promote anybody. No, they're all city raiders. Um, so we'll just do a, this guy. Oh, no, he's a city raider three. This guy. And then send them out. Head towards their capital. <laughs> These guys will just defend. You will be protection two. And you will be just defending. These guys will... Do they have a lot of catapults? Yeah. So one of these guys... Okay, you just do first strike to defend against catapults. I'll go ahead and upgrade you, Rifleman. Although I just lost the uh, fortify bonus, but that's okay. Uh, the extra hit points will be useful. All right. So I don't want to settle... I don't want to go across the river... Um, so I'll just do all my guys uh, right here because I don't want to attack from across the river so I can't do a two-pronged attack. And uh, you over here. We'll send you out. Here we can do three different um, attacks here. So we'll do that. three different locations so they can't hit me with collateral damage. I mean, just a couple guys with collateral damage. Less collateral. Divide the collateral damage by three. Basically. And go down here. Alright. So, I won't be faring many troops around, I don't think. I might want to hit might want to hit Walata, but let's go send this group out to get the reinforcements. You just chill out over here. Actually, i delete this guy. See if that actually saves us some money. It did. Saved us one money. All right, you defend. And the rest of you. Well, these two guys will defend as well. You just uh, be a distraction, kind of, defend, um, upgrade one of these guys, sure. lose your fortify bonus, but that's okay, I should have done that earlier though, we'll keep him, we'll defend him, so these guys over here, start uh, bombarding their city defenses, Forget to promote him. I'll get him the star bonus. Combat bonus. In case they send any frigates at us. And this city can't do it. But we want to defend our boats. So we'll defend our boats. Two frigates. And can we go here and bombard? And we'll s just a bunch of these guys here and send these guys out to be in reinforcements but we won't need that many but we don't need that many here after the initial invasion you really don't need all your friends. I mean you're, all your galleons I mean just a few to ferry troops around okay you'll be spying and you'll be spying I don't see any frigates Go ahead and just. Uh, did everyone bombard? I don't know who's bombarded or not, so it's fine. Uh, I don't want to run out of money. So we'll go down to 30% research. Let's go up here. I want to start spying on Sitting Bull equally. We'll do four and four. Actually, we'll do two and four. 
because I don't really need to do much more on Mansa Musa because I'll be taking out his guys soon enough. You just defend. I don't want to lose my fortify bonus. And we'll see what happens. See if he... <laughs> I sent my workers out. That was so stupid. Should have done it after I declared war. Oh, well. That was kind of silly. Okay, he's got a rifle, man. And he's attacking me. Because I'm all bundled up here. But I got promotions, and the promotions will heal me. I don't think I'm going to lose any guys. Let's see. And the musket... Oh, I think I'm going to lose this guy. Nope. We're getting to the point I might want to do a quick defense. So we don't have to watch all these combats. So I'll do that. After this turn. Uh, come on, win. Don't take out a guy that can promote. <gasps> my reinforcements. Oh, that wasn't my reinforcements. Good. That was just my guys going back to be reinforcements. I think. I hope it's not my reinforcements. I left my reinforcements undefended. Oh, no. Uh, Grenadier. But they took me out with a galleon. That was interesting. Uh, Grenadier. Rifleman. Uh, okay. They got boats over here. It doesn't really matter. But first thing I'm going to do, go into options, and I'm going to do quick combat defense, quick combat offense. Show the moves of enemy units between turns. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, revolt here. Uh, the peasants are revolting. All right. And then uh, here's my reinforcements. Thank goodness that they didn't get hit. And he didn't even have a promotion. He won. And he hardly took any damage. That's a But take that. Oh, Charlemagne's getting in on the action. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they didn't do any damage to my catapults. I mean, my cannons. I think last episode, or last few episodes, I've been saying catapults instead of cannons for some reason. Uh, I don't need to promote everybody. They've only got four guys in here, so we'll do four attacks and we'll promote these four guys. 40% odds, probably we'll lose one. Yep. Uh, that's fine. And what about you? 96%. How about my city raiders? I don't really have many healthy city raiders, and they can't. 99.6. Okay, I won that. Yeah, I don't need to stack up attack to do quick attacks now because I changed the settings. Got it. Got our first city. Good. And then that means he'll be able to build fewer reinforcements. Let's uh, defend the city with these four guys. Uh, can I do a... Uh, a medic. We'll heal up. And we'll just keep these guys here. And heal up. Three turns. Six turns. Heal up. Poverty point. Not going after them. I don't. I should always. You should always. It's probably general rules. It's better to do barbarian. 
In a general rule, it's better to attack not the vassal first because the vassals can leave the the uh, the owners. Um, but it just logistically made more sense to to go after uh, Mansa Musa because I have my troops here. Although I could have done my naval invasion of Sitting Bull. This war with Sitting Bull is going to drag on for a while. Alright, but... Okay, those won. And they got four guys in there, so I think I'll just attack with these four guys. And cook them without losing anybody. That's good. We'll do theaters. Uh, any good defenders? You look like you can. And we'll send these two guys in. He will stay and protect the catapults. I mean, cannons. And you will. We'll all stay here together. And you'll stay here. Move this guy forward. Get more reinforcements ready. Uh, I don't have many riflemen. I need to get more. I'm, I'm waiting a little crazy on the grenadiers. They're kind of just specialists to take on riflemen. I mean, they're not bad. So, but I should have done more riflemen. All right. Uh, defense. Automate. Distraction. Uh, we'll get you up here to help out. All right, we'll drop these guys off. Do I want to go after Sitting Bull? Not yet. Let's just completely take out the Malanese first. And um, I think I will send him up here. And we'll move some troops in here and uh, go after Walata. And I'll send these guys up here to do some bombards, but that'll have to wait till next turn. Make sure these guys don't get attacked. And then we'll move some troops in the boats. And, uh, anybody have extra movement in the camp? You? Yeah, just take out Sitting Bull's little caravel. For the XP? And we'll send these guys out to do the bombard this turn. There, get it down to 36%. They'll take it out next turn. And I don't need to protect these guys because they'll be out of range. Yeah, they got attacked, so it should reset their movement. I may need more reinforcements than that. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to put a cut in. This one went a little bit extra long. But, um, yeah, next time we will continue the fight. Thanks for watching. Bye.